hey guys welcome to my youtube channel Omoya cooks today i'll be showing you how to make this delicious saucy grilled fish it is so juicy you're going to love this now guys it's just a few simple steps and you're going to absolutely love all the flavors now look at how soft and juicy this looks now it's time to make it come along with me as we make this juicy delicious fish now here is my fish it is called hake fish we also call it kwanla fish in lagos nigeria all we're going to do is ensure that we take out all the gods and the gills you want to make sure it is really clean right next up i'm going to take out my knife make sure it is really sharp and we're going to make a cut right in the belly of the fish now i'm making a straight cut and ensuring that it opens up that fish into this way so you want it to be opened up just like this now let's set that aside and then make that lovely sauce you saw earlier now i'm going to be using flavored oil my flavored oil has a mix of lovely flavorful herbs from dried parsley to rosemary to basil it is so good and i have the recipe on my youtube channel now i heated that up and i added some onions you're going to fry your onions now you already know that the onions is going to add a lot of sugars natural sugars and for my personal preference i love my onions to be brown and then i'm adding some seasoning cube you can add just salt if you don't use seasoning cube now that it's looking like this you want to make sure you're doing this on low heat right the next thing you're going to do is to add your pepper mix the pepper mix guys is a hack it is frozen right now but what it consists of is some local red bell peppers which we call tatashe in nigeria some scotch bonnet which we call atarodo and lots and lots of onions this also has a mix of carrots right all of this was roughly blend together and then this is so good now look at that fried up look at how it looks it is so delicious remember we already have seasoning cube in that oil so it is so good i have to scoop some parts away next up i'm adding coconut milk coconut milk is just going to add another depth of flavor and we're going to fry this once again on low heat you're going to fry it until the sauce is reduced that way you know that the coconut milk is fully cooked and this is exactly what you want to see now that it's looking like this we're going to turn up the heat and allow that sauce to cool down a bit now what you want to do next is to get some banana leaves or some plantain leaves as you can see here we call it my my leaves in nigeria i'm going to add some onions for the base this is where the fish is going to be cooked in right so i'm going to get out the onions i'm arranging them so it looks really nice for the base of the fish and as you can see me do here you can decide to use other things like tomatoes some peppers sweet bell peppers would be a really nice touch right and then i'm going to place that fish that has been cleaned earlier into that leaf now guys look at how that looks i'm also going to be adding the sauce at this point now imagine all that flavor from the coconut milk to the pepper so that's carrots that was also in the pepper mix all of that is going into that fish now one thing i forgot to mention at the beginning was that i made some cuts on the back of the fish so that the sauce can actually enter really well into that fish so you want to make sure you make some cuts on that fish now you want to make sure again to put in lots of sauce on that fish because this is going to be the added flavor on the fish itself remember the fish hasn't been seasoned with anything i'm going to turn that over and then i'm going to add more of fat sauce now recall i talked about some cuts on the fish if you look closely you're going to see those cuts and shortly you're going to see me massage the sauce into those cuts now you can see me massage this i have to wear my black gloves for this and then you're going to put in all of that sauce into those cuts you want to make sure that the sauce really enters into that fish so that for every bite for every cut you make on that fish when it's fully grilled and ready it's going to be so juicy and flavorful now for added effects because i love to be extra i added some carrots once again now imagine the char on that carrot and the lovely flavor from that sipping into that fish this is going to add another depth of flavor once again you can decide to cover this up with even more bell peppers imagine all that flavor now that it's looking all good i'm going to cover that up once again with another banana leaf or moi moi leaf as we call it in nigeria now i'm using the foil to make sure it is tied up neatly and wrapped up neatly so that the juice does not seep out when you are grilling i'm using an air fryer oven to grill this you can decide to do this over open grill 
or you can put this into a regular oven. I grill this for about 20 to 25 minutes with 180 degrees Celsius. And guys, this is what we have. It's so good. This is so good. Now, one thing I did to get that crispy bit was towards the end of the grill time, the last five minutes, I opened it up and then I allowed that fish to get crispy at the top. And trust me, remember the sauce I had put away earlier? Then I drizzled that back on top of that fish. This is going to ensure that your fish retains its juiciness and all of that flavor is just going to make this fish so so delicious make sure you try this recipe out i are going to come back and thank me follow my page and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel it's on my hooks and i'm going to be dropping weekly videos that you're going to love okay bye have a nice day <laughs>